Okay, here we go. Here's me trying to lift a Tesla battery using a gantry that we built out of scaffolding in an afternoon. An old chain block and some straps that may or may not be right for lifting. So, we've already started, we've got it wobbling. Um, at the time I didn't notice that that strap slipped, but luckily it slipped into the right place. It's probably just been pulled straight. The trailer fell off the stand and things aren't quite balanced. So after a bit of head scratching, finding the right tool. There it is in the front of the flooded car. Oh, yep. To balance it, we need to be up on top of it. So surfing a Tesla battery. This is where all the years of learning to surf have finally paid off. I can now actually do things in a safe and a balanced way. Yep, that's about right. So here we go. Come on, fidget, fidget. Should have got that done before. Fidget, fidget. Floating. Is this where the trailer comes out? Does the trailer come out? Does it all go horribly wrong? Hang on. He's buggered off. He's gone for a cup of tea. Where is Ah, there he is. Come on. We're getting bored now. Do something. Do something. Oh, yep. Yep. Here we go. What could possibly go wrong? Hundreds of things. But look, nothing did yet. High-tech wood, yep. Nothing but the best here. Offcuts. That'll do. Pretty happy about that. Wave to the camera. Getting overly confident. And here we do it. Go. Going down. Next stop, ground floor. So, what have we learned? Neil doesn't do a great Charlie Chaplin impression. Tesla batteries can fly. And when they're on the ground, they really don't look very big. 